I was standing in the automatic teller machine queue uh, next to a fellow executive and uh, I was uh, well aware that uh, the tools were confronting quite a difficult challenge and I thought why not so I thought I'll, I'll have a go at talking to him about it in the queue so after about uh, a 30 second conversation in the queue about the problem uh, we basically had done a deal to swallow half the cost each uh, this was uh, going to cost us something like 60 grand to fix this problem so we agreed to split the cost about 30 grand each out of out of our areas the thing that struck me about this was a brief social interaction with uh, pleasantries and a conversation about why what we were up to and what the weather was like he was quite open to talking about it if I'd gone around a more formal process for this uh, written memos uh, sent them up the line sent them down the line to get to this executive I could have looked at 10 or 100 hours work potentially to sort this problem out it, it brought home a couple of messages to me one is we really have to adopt social approaches to dealing with some of these issues as much as possible. And the other is it's about trust. Trust is the fundamental ingredient. It's kind of a lubricant in all of our relationships in our organisations. I really think IT people need to understand this a lot more clearly. That the effort they put into building trust networks with their fellow executives and with the rest of the organisation will pay them back in spades. I see so many IT organisations that have isolated themselves, that have let their trust networks deteriorate or haven't bothered to build them in the first place, and they find any sort of conflict resolution or dealing with difficult issues so much hard work as a result.